Hello, Ramley and other family. I'm Peyotan. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And welcome in. Uh, we're talking today about the Rams signing star receiver Odell Beckham Jr. We are going to go through the pros and cons of this signing. I noticed a lot of Ram fans like myself, before the Odell signing happened, or even knowledge that it could happen, there was kind of this divide in the Ramley of, oh, go get him, like, absolutely, to someone who probably I would put myself in this category of, I don't, I don't know if we need him, you know, maybe don't make this signing happen. We're going to break this down into a pros and cons list, and let's get into it. Pro. Rams needed a wide receiver. Uh, we lost Tutu Atwell and Jacob Harris to injury uh, over the past uh, couple of games. And uh, Deshaun Jackson left. Uh, the Rams had to cut him just because I guess he wasn't happy with his role in the Rams offense. And the reality is, though we do have Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, and Van Jefferson, which is a great wide receiving room on its own, Ben Saronic is still a rookie wide receiver uh, who has played well at times, uh, but I, I don't think he's at that level yet in his development. But you can't argue that Odell Beckham Jr. isn't a better wide receiver than Ben Saronic, even with Odell's decreased production over the past number of years. We also know that the Rams put in a waiver request for former Rams wide receiver Josh Reynolds, who was cut by the Tennessee Titans. Unfortunately for the Rams, the Detroit Lions had a higher waiver priority and claimed Reynolds. This left the Rams in a spot where they still needed a wide receiver. And even if you didn't want this signing to happen, you can't debate that Odell Beckham Jr. was the best option available now that the trade deadline has passed. Con. NFL locker rooms, we only hear what reporters and players and coaches can tell us. That being said, there's been reports that maybe Odell's not the best locker room guy. When you hear about the recruiting effort from the Rams players, this doesn't seem like someone that they're scared to welcome into their locker room. Uh, the Rams have dealt with off the field and locker room concerns in the past. Uh, you know, we know Jalen Ramsey, Marcus Peters. Pro, the contract. This is a great contract. This is a one-year contract with the Rams that is worth up to $4.25 million. He'll get a $500,000 signing bonus, 750K for the rest of the season and three million, and this is important, based on team in incentives. And this, these incentives, if you look into it, is how far the team makes it in the playoffs. I think that Odell really loved it, that he had the opportunity uh, to make back some of the money he might have lost getting cut from Cleveland. So yes, this contract works excellence for the Rams. We add a great wide receiver to our wide receiving corps, in our goal that we're all in going for a Super Bowl this year. Love it, love it. Con, injury concerns. This is probably the biggest con on here. Odell has had injuries the past couple of years. So we won't go through his entire injury history, but in 2020 alone, he had a lower back lumbar sprain, a toe sprain. He had knee ACL tear grade three that was season ending last year on October 25th. This year he has had a shoulder AC joint sprain. So these injuries are something to be concerned about. Odell is still on the right side of 30 at 29 years old. Uh, so I do believe he can stay healthy the rest of season, but it's something that we got to talk about. And I understand people who have this concern about Odell Beckham. Pro, preventing a team like the Packers or the Saints or someone else in the NFC West, like the Seahawks or 49ers or Cardinals even, uh, in getting another quality player. Even if Odell doesn't do a thing for the Rams, Jack Squat. For the Rams, there's literally no risk to this. If he doesn't play well, he won't get more playing time. And, and it's not like we're paying him a ton of money. This is a luxury signing for the Rams, even though we did need a wide receiver. But I'm really glad that the Packers didn't get him or another team in the NFC. Con, off the field distractions by Odell's family and friends. Odell is a star, big name. He maybe hasn't been putting up the big numbers that he did earlier in his career, but he's still someone that you hear about LeBron James talking to him. You hear about his dad breaking down film, Baker Mayfield not throwing him the ball. There's all this circus show that I really hope the Rams don't have to put up with any of that. However, I will point out 
that the Rams are once again really good at dealing with these off the field character concerns. I'm hoping that the culture that the Rams have built in this locker room will really help Odell come and keep everything outside of football away from football. We know that Von Miller and Odell are, are quite tight and Von Miller was big in the recruiting for uh, to get Odell here. Jalen Ramsey was big at getting Odell here. The wide receiving room reached out. Uh, Sean McVay apparently had a great phone conversation with him where he talked about how they're going to run four wide receiver sets <laughs> all day. So he'll get on the field. He'll get looks. It looks like Odell wants to be here. And I think that's key here where definitely towards the end of his tenure with the Giants, Odell didn't want to be there. And it seemed like towards the end of his time with Cleveland, Odell didn't want to be there. With Odell choosing to go somewhere like the Rams, we're hoping that all those off the field issues will not enter into football and that we'll be able to stay focused on the goal of winning the Super Bowl. And my last point that I want to put on this list is that's a pro for the Rams is we didn't have to give up a draft pick. <laughs> oh, yes, the Rams have given up so much draft capital that we don't have much to give anyway. <laughs> but it's nice for the Rams to sign a player on a team friendly deal and we didn't have to give up a draft pick for it. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching to the end. In my opinion, the pros of this signing definitely outweigh the cons. Let me know in the comments below. Are you still concerned about this signing for the Rams? Are you happy about this signing for the Rams? I want to hear your hot take. Looking forward to talking to you in the comments. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, I'm Payout Time. Horns up! Go Rams! Peace out.